Water levels are rising across the Tennessee Valley as the area continues to get pounded with rain. Here's a look at Ditto Landing from yesterday. Keep this in mind because we're about to get a live comparison. It may seem like it's been raining forever, but it's still just the beginning of what's to come. Good evening, I'm Connor Board. And I'm Mike Black. Our Renata Dita Group. Renata Di Gregorio is at Ditto Landing right now to show us how the water's measuring up. Renata, I hope you're staying dry out there. How's it looking? Mike Connor, the water level doesn't look too much different here than it did yesterday, but check a look over my shoulder here. This is the main building for Ditto Landing, and to get there, you'd still have to swim maybe a bit further than you would have had to yesterday. So since I'm standing in this water for you, I want to give you an exact measurement of how long or high it is. This is about six and a half inches long, so it may not seem like too much, but usually there is no water here. And this has the executive director of Ditto Landing already thinking about the cleanup. Most of it is um, picking up trash that's come in with the, with the floodwaters and then also debris that's come in with the floodwaters and um, just basically cleaning off the parking lot so that they're safe for our customers. Now to now, to minimize flooding over at the Tennessee River, they have nine dams along it. I was over in Muscle Shoals earlier today to learn about how they're doing this because out there, the water level is expected to rise three feet above flood level. It's all hands on deck as the Tennessee Valley Authority's system of dams works to minimize flooding. They're moving water from East Tennessee through Alabama to the Ohio River. And we're moving about 1.7 million gallons a second through the system. That's the equivalent to about two Olympic sized swimming pools every second. Some dams are working at max capacity to make sure the right amount of water is in each reservoir and areas aren't flooded. You'll see the water going over the dam, and that's what we call spilling. Scott uh, Fiedler with TVA water. says they're working with a forecast model that shows eight inches of rain across three states. He says to expect flooding in flood prone areas. We're going to still see very high river flows for the next week. So we need people to be cautious out there when they're on the river or fishing along the shorelines because there's going to be a, a very fast current for several weeks. Despite the rain and clouds, Fiedler says there is a silver lining. It's free fuel for TVA because hydro here is our cheapest form of generation. The March fuel cost adjustment is 7% lower than the three-year average. A lot of rain and a smaller bill. Putting the valley first in the shoals, Renat DiGregorio, WZDX News. TVA has an app that shows you the water levels in certain areas. You can download that and also make sure you have our Rocket City Now app so you can be weather aware as the rain keeps coming.